Meanwhile, it has been nearly eight months since local leaders began imposing restrictions as the COVID-19 pandemic arrived here in San Antonio. But as the months drag on, it's become more obvious that even while the virus hangs around, people's anxiety may be waiting, though that's not always a good thing. Garrett Berger talked with local doctors about what they're seeing from COVID fatigue. An ongoing pandemic didn't stop demonstrators from gathering around the country this weekend, including here in South Texas, as election results rolled in. Nor did it stop the joyful celebrations of Notre Dame students who rushed the field after a football win. Dr. Erica Gonzalez, the head of Stamp Allergy, thinks part of it is just human nature. I think it's the natural instinct to be like, hey, let's, you know, kind of all get together. Um, and we forget. I mean, we forget that we're in a time where we need to be taking these precautions. Gonzalez thinks COVID fatigue definitely exists. Those kind of big gatherings could be an example. And the generally low infection rates here in Bear County we're seeing after this summer spike may play a role in the local mentality. I think that that also made people kind of uh, uh, get a false sense of security that, hey, you know what, maybe this thing is over. Over at Texas Med Clinic, the chief medical officer is also a believer in the COVID fatigue phenomenon. You know, I've had it up to here and uh, I'm not doing it anymore. But he's not currently seeing its consequences through big events. Instead, it's things like family dinners and weddings that have been recently sending cases to his chain of clinics. You know, uh, one woman specifically said her husband didn't want to go, didn't want her to go, but she thought, oh, it can't be that big of a risk. So she went. And so she's now, you know, one of the five that's positive. Precautions are still necessary, he says. Things like washing your hands, staying socially distant and wearing a mask. But all that may still not be enough if someone around you isn't being careful too. I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.